There is no mountain you can't overcome when you pray. There is no valley you can't cross when you pray. There is no situation you can't defeat when you pray. When you pray, you may be going about life with so much to think and take care of. You may be trying to figure it all out But there is only one way to conquer all When you pray There is no mountain you can't overcome When you pray There is no valley you can't cross When you pray There is no situation you can't defeat When you pray you can overcome when you pray there is no valley you can't cross when you pray there is no situation now such a delicious thank you so much sis you're welcome can you imagine what my advisor said he told me to approve my um, PhD dissertation because he wants to have an affair with me excuse you I'm serious like that's what? ridiculous when he told me, I was like, how can you be saying that? Like, I was so shocked. Like, how can, and I trusted him so much. Like, he has helped me up to this time. And now I want to defend my, my dissertation. Mm -hmm. And he's asking me to, like, have an affair with how him. How can Mr. Alfred even think of such I don't nonsense. even know why. What is this water name? Is it now, Professor, like, that man is really old enough to be your I grandfather. Think, Honestly, honestly, and I told him the same thing, but he refused. He insisted that I was having an affair with him. And right now, I'm just stuck because I need to get this thing done and move ahead. I need to do something else in my life, I and I don't even know what to do. I'm so bothered about disturbing me. And the success of my dissertation is based on when you oh, approve my, my dissertation. Hey. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what to do. Like, can you even imagine? My 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 advisor is saying that he wants me to have an affair with him before he's gonna approve my PhD dissertation. That's annoying. And I need to get this thing done and leave this school. I'm tired. Exactly. Like I've been in this school for the past five years and I need to go right now. I just need to go. I don't know what to do. I'm so I'm so bothered about it. It's, it's killing me and I don't know what to do right now. I just I just I just, I just need a solution to this whole thing because he's old enough to be my father. I need to be my darling. So like, I'm, I can't even do that. I don't know what to do. You can't. I just, can't I just need a solution. I need something. Something has to be done because I have to defend my dissertation before the end of this month. Absolutely. Something I has to be done. You. And I don't know. No, no you, you get some worry, bits. I just, no, I just lost the contracts. Really? What? Just because I wouldn't indulge in some frivolous business practices. Oh my god. Why are all this What's going on? What's going on? I mean, like, I put in so much, I put in so much hours, sleepless nights into this. Oh my god. Like, like, I know. Like, I know all the sacrifices you, 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 you oh. pay for. That contract to work. So What's going on? Like, so what's annoying. happening to us? My God, something has to be done because yes, we can't continue sister, like this. Yeah. Like we need to find a solution to all these things because things are just going haywire, and we need to just. Oh my God! Oh my God! You know, darling, it oh. is well. You know, we can understand. It is well, but you know, I think we've always been in the right path. Whenever we come into this yeah. I believe that there is nothing prayer cannot handle. You know, we've always been praying, committing everything to God. Mm -hmm. Now more than ever, we must not stop. Mm -hmm. Right now, I remember a testimony my mom told me, like when she mm -hmm. got married to my dad, the first five years of the marriage was hectic. And my mom told me how my dad was almost getting a divorce. Mm -hmm. But guess what? She decided to pray about it. She said she had to even beckon on some of her friends for them to hold serious fast and prayer sessions and to the glory of God, her marriage was restored. So mm -hmm. now more than ever, when the enemy is attacking us on every side, I think we can go like maybe on a 21 days of fast, 40 days of fast and prayers in this house because I think so. Because right now, the situation is 
has gone bad and we need to we need to do all we can to get and out of this situation. And those people in your office, they have to know how you serve them. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. How yeah. can you do that? I cannot. Yeah. I know you're well qualified. Yeah, yeah. 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 actually. Yeah. yeah. And my advisor, he needs to know that I have with God in heaven. Absolutely. Yeah. The fight for me. Absolutely. And we, I'm sure God will hand him and take care of the situation. There is no mountain in Jesus' name. Jesus name, you can't cry when you pray. There is no situation in the world. You have done it again and again and again. You may be going about life with so much to think and take care of. You may be trying to figure it all out, but there is only Hello, good good morning, sir. How are you doing? <sighs> Brother Peter, are you okay? What what's wrong? Wait, what? What do you mean? How, how, how can you break our relationship? What are you talking about? Hey, how are you doing? How can you say this to me? What's going on? Talk to me. What's going on? <laughs> You've been doing on? yes in this courtship already. What? Hey. What did I do? <laughs> take it calm. Take it calm, okay? What's going on? Talk to me. Talk to me. <laughs> What? No, you cannot do this to me, Peter. You can't. What am I going to tell my parents? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Just take it calm. Just take it calm. Just take it calm, okay? Just take it calm. Just take it calm, okay? What's going on? What's going on? He hung up the phone at me. Really? Isn't that brother Peter? He just told me to tell me he has he has cast a relationship that is no longer what? interesting. He found another lady. What? Oh, I'm so sorry to you. Just take it calm, okay? What am I going to tell my parents? I, I want you to know something. He told me I was God's will for his life. I understand. I understand, okay? See, I just want you to know something. So, uh, God blesses. God's blessings actually make it rich and added no sorrow. I mean, it's not just the one for you. Okay? We were about to be married. Don't I you get know, it? I know. I know. Just take it calm. Okay, don't okay. worry. There is fine. It's just the one you for you. Don't worry about it. Okay? You'll be fine. There is no body you can't cry. You can't defeat when you pray. When you pray, when you pray, there is no mountain you can't overcome. When you pray, there is no valley you can't
I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Just, where have you been? I don't want to be rude there. Bert, I told you yesterday that I was gonna attend Christabel's party, right? Who's this Christabel? You told me! Yes, you told me you were going to attend some party, and yes, I did listen. But what does that have to do with me? Huh? Henry, what do you want me to do? I cook for you, I do your laundry, I basically do everything in this house. Ever since I married you, you wouldn't let me go anywhere. You wouldn't let me work, you wouldn't let me do anything with any of my friends. Like, what do you want me to do? I do not care about any of your friends, this nonsense, this and that. It's the same thing every day. You make the same basic excuses and then blame me for your decisions, okay? If you want to go to your party, it's fine. Be a bit more reasonable, choose better time. Like, do not have time to argue. But I told you two days ago I was gonna attend uh, this party with my sister. Two days ago? Yes. Really? really? So yes. if I go two days now and not come back a month later, what will you say? No, no, look at me when I'm speaking. What will you say? I did not what come back a month later. I'm not a child for you to be doing the same thing over and over. You do basic needs and then you think that you all of a sudden deserve a reward. Like hanging out with people that never do anything for you, huh? When has your friend called me and said hi? Hmm? Where do you be going anyway? How am I even supposed to trust you? All of a sudden you have Do you life. realize I'm trying here? You do nothing in this house. I do all of the stuff. The same nonsense day in and day out. I put my time in for you to say the same stupid things, the same ridiculous things over and over. I'm about to have to go see this friend from high school, from this. Something is going on, alright? What about your household, hmm? It's the same thing. How do I get to ask you There's no problem, man. But like, the Bible says that how Christ loves the church is how a man should also love his wife. It's not like I don't love my wife, you know? 
But I should expect a few more things in general. But yeah. I, 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 no, 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 listen. Yeah. Wives should be submissive to their husbands. Right? That's what the Bible says too. It does say that. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Bro, See, bro. The Bible is saying that you should love your wife. I never said it's, I don't love my wife. Then why would you treat her like you don't love her? Hey, does it not say in the words for her to be submissive it does, it, does it does. But at the same time, as Christ has loved the church, you should also love your wife the same way. Babe, I the do the same love is, every day. Okay, I do the same work. It's always the nonsense. Same thing. It's always the same thing over and over again, you know? So yeah, I got a little upset. And yeah, I did raise my hand. That does not show love. Okay. It doesn't show love. So even as Christ has loved the church, you should also love uh, the same. Calm down, Mike. So I feel this pain. I mean, the Bible do say that wife should be submissive to the husband, yes. give herself, and um, you know. Isn't that the same stuff. morals that you raise at home? You see, I'm exactly. not doing anything wrong. She just has to learn. I don't have to learn. She has to learn. I've done my learning. I've done my work day in and day out, bro. Over and over again, bro. Look. A marriage is a 50-50 game. 50-50. You do your part, she does her part. And at the same time, not only are you loving her, but she's also loving you. Whatever work she's putting in into this into your family, she's doing it out of love for you. I can't see the love now. There's no love. She's not submissive. And she's not submissive, okay? It's not no 50-50 thing. I don't want to feel like it should be equal. But it's hard for me out there. Yeah. And all she does is sit home and do nothing and they call it a day. I don't want to be difficult, okay? I do love my wife. I'm not a horrible person, all right? But at the end of the day, like, I do the best I can, not just for me. And if it was just for me, I would leave this place anytime I can. What does she have for me that I can't give to myself? Huh? My girl knows what I'm talking about, so. right? Don't call me a monster. And now you come here to my house painting me as the villain. You're supposed to be my friend. Bro, I'm not painting anyone as a villain. You actually I'm are painting you as a villain. I'm counseling you. His wife is so close to me. I'm counseling you and, te and teaching you according to the way that the Bible says about how you should be treating your wife. No matter how upset she makes you, you should still treat her with the same love that Christ gives to, to the church. I don't totally agree with your standing, but I, I've not been reading my word as much. I won't lie to you. Maybe I need to take some time and think about this. Sure. So, look, I will give you a Bible verse to read about how you should be treating your wife. About, I'll leave, in fact, I won't even give you one. I'll give you multiple verses so you can read. And I want you to meditate on them so you can understand what I'm talking about. Even though, yes, you both were in the wrong, but at the same time, it's never too late to make up for those mistakes. You can go go back and apologize to her. Wow. And then I want you to go and read not only the Bible book, but not only the Bible by yourself, but I also want you to read it with her so you guys can fix this relationship that you have. she comes back and apologizes to me as well. We okay. both need to apologize to each other. Fine, fine, fine. Give me the verses, all right? I'll take the time. And find out what's going on. Okay. I, I don't want to lose my marriage. I don't want you to lose your marriage either. When the day the day you got married, I was extremely happy for you. I was I, I was in the congregation watching you getting married, saying I do the same word about I was so happy for you. I'm so sorry I didn't make you one of the groups, man. There is no valley you can't cross when you pray. There is no situation you can't defeat when you pray. When you pray, you may be going about life with so much to think and take care. Oh, Shana, you're welcome to my house. This is your house. Always looking so, so lovely. Thank you. My dear, how is your family? I do work by God's grace, so my roommate, Sarah and Rebecca, those girls, Sha, we thank God, they are such a blessing to me. How have you been? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah. You 
you don't. Do Wait. you want anything to drink? No. Okay. I. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. What happened to you? Oh my goodness, what? What happened? Why is your face like this? My sister. My sister. Hey. What? Henry slapped. What? Again. What happened? Remember the birthday party? Mm-hmm. I told you about it. Yeah. He just came back and got upset that I was that whole party. He started screaming and before I knew it, he gave me a dirty slap. What? How long has this been happening? Why would your husband want to hit you just for a birthday party you attended? What's that? I don't know. Since I married this man, I don't have any independence. He won't let me go out. He won't let me do anything. He won't let me work. Like, I'm tired. I'm so sorry, my darling. But to be more honest, have you been submitting to your husband as a wife she submit to her husband? No, dear. I have done everything possible. Every single thing. You made it. I have done it. Before he comes back, his food is ready set on the dining table. I literally do everything this man wants me to do. Like, you know Henry. He doesn't want me talking back when he talks to me. How then am I gonna express myself? So if he has been battering you for such a long time, why don't you get the police involved in this? No, I cannot. Of I course you should! Please don't. See, human life is more than the covenant of marriage. The covenant of life is above the covenant of marriage. You need help. No, I don't. I, I cannot take my husband away from me. Like, what would we fight? Like, no. You cannot do that. Are life. you serious? No, no, no. Will you remain in this marriage and die because you're trying to save a marriage? God wants you to be married to him. Marriage is honorable in the sight of God. And it's supposed to bring favor, not, not all this misery. That's why you need help. You should talk to the Hannah. police, some counselor, Hannah. therapist. Talk Hannah. to someone. No. The same Bible says, Hannah, that marriage is for better and for worse. I just believe that this is a trying face. It's gonna pass. Mm. That's what many women say in their marriages and they end up in their grave. Okay, what if we have a prayer and fasting session, you know, just to commit the situation in the hands of the Lord. The scripture says that the hands of a man is in the hand of God. Every king, their heart is in God's hand. You know, God can turn your husband's heart, you know, to the direction he wants. That direction where the man will love you. He will honor you, he will cherish you, he will provide for you, he will protect you. Why don't we have a prayer and fast session? Hannah, to be honest, at this point, any solution I can get, I will take it because I cannot look at my face now. <laughs> yeah, I think you need help. So, but like I told you the other time, my dear sister, it all starts at the foot of the cross. You need to be born again. You need to surrender your heart to the Lord. See, you cannot fight your battles physically and win. This man has power over you. You need to fight on your knees. You need to go to God in prayers and let God take charge of your home. The scripture says in Proverbs chapter 14 verse 1 that a wise woman builds her home, but a foolish woman plucks down her home with her house. If you're just talking flippantly to your husband, if you're just fighting every day with him over situations happening in their home, you are just wrecking it. You're just plucking down that home that God has blessed you with. Do you know how many single ladies out there are looking for a husband, crying day and night to the Most High God? I think you need to surrender your heart to the Lord, Cassandra. You know, I've been I've been talking to you about God. You've been resisting. Look at you. For how long will this continue? Don't you think you need Jesus Christ in your life at this point? My dear, you know how this thing is? I don't really believe in all this church, 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 church. I'm not talking about church. I'm talking about God. You need God to intervene in your home. And I can handle it in my own way. Oh, really? Yes. I can see you're really handling it on your own way. And look at your face. It's, My darling. It's gonna clear up it out. Oh, really? 
Anyways, I'll be, I'll be praying for you. I'm so sorry this is happening to you. Eh? But consider it. You need to surrender your heart to the Lord. You need to let God have His way into your life so that you can be able to fight your battles in prayer and let God give you the victory. Let God bring your husband back to you so your husband can love you like Christ loves the church. I'm telling you this from my heart of love. I'll be praying for you with my sisters back at home, okay? Thank you, my dear. I really appreciate it. Thank you for coming. It is well. God will see you through it as well. Thank you. I'm going to see you. Don't worry. Some other time. I need to go and catch up with my sisters at home. We need something so urgent. Thank you, Zion. There is no mountain you can overcome when you there is no valley you can't cross when you pray. There is no situation you can't defeat when you pray. When you pray, when you pray, you have been fighting all alone, and your strength is almost gone. You have been battling all these years. Thinking you can make it on your own. Ah, oh, big sis. Hey, girl. How, how are you doing? Wait. Oh my god. Look at how this thing has swollen. Oh my gosh. What type of nonsense is that? I'm so, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh. I've been telling you. Look at you. You're suffering. You're in pain right now because of him. It's getting. It's getting too much. It's getting too much. Enough is enough. I told you, leave him. You have to. Look at how you're looking. Tell me, why, why did I see? Why did I see? Um, I saw my auntie Hannah. When I was coming in, I saw her leaving out. Yeah, she just left a few days ago. She wanted me to report Henry with the But I told her it's impossible now. I cannot do that. Report Henry? Yeah. To, to the police. For what? Domestic violence. And she was ah. also saying that I need to take it to God and take it to prayers. Like, this God. thing was so hurtful, I wasn't even thinking so She's that. talking about God. Look, look, look at your condition and she's talking about God. Look at how you're in so much pain. She's, she's talking about follow. My friend, don't don't listen to what she's saying. All, that, all she's saying is rubbish right now. I told you, I told you. Leave this man. And you'll find your happiness when, when you're alone. When you're by yourself, you're in peace. Look at how he's torturing you. You don't deserve this. You don't deserve this. Please. My sister, please believe me. I am so please. confused right now. Like, I don't even know what to do. Like, you're confused. Jesus. I just. We'll figure this out together, but you're gonna have to leave him. It's what's best no, for you. I no, no. You have yeah. to. It's what's best for your well-being. He won't know. My big sister won't die. Please. Please. I know you're confused, but think, just think about it. And then you'll find out that the best thing to do is for him to go. You need to leave this man. You know what? Thank you so much. It's my life. I keep it behind me. I appreciate you, okay? You know, I'm only, I'm only going to be here to just advise you, you know? Let me go get a nap. Uh, okay. Okay, take a nap. I'll, I'll be here. And your friend is almost gone. You have been battling all these years. Thinking you can make it on your own. When you pray, there is no mountain you can overcome. You can't cross when you pray. There is no situation you can't defeat when you pray. When you pray, when you pray, 
heaven knows and understands There is nothing He cannot do for you We walk by faith and not by sight When we pray To Him we shall prevail When we pray There is no mountain we can't overcome When we pray There is no valley we can't cross When we pray There is no situation we can't defeat When we pray No sorrow. Yes, you will get those contracts you are looking for. Yes, I believe that the law of perfect that will possess the energy. May give you the bone of your body, flesh, your flesh in the name of Jesus. God's timing. See, 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 see. Eh, get what? What, honey? I just checked my departmental website now. Uh -huh. My advisor has been transferred. What? Oh, that's cool. Now I have a new advisor. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God. Oh my God. Been assigned to another professor. Hey. Yes. 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 Professor has my good at heart. Like oh. he wants the best for me. He's oh, always Jesus. always supporting me. God is and faithful. Always God helping faithful. me. So like, immediately you oh answer my God. Me. Like I can't believe so this. Wow. Oh my God! I can't believe Very this. Very soon we're coming for your face. Yes. Oh my God. Thank you, Jesus. 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 God will do your thing. Amen. 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 Our testimony will be complete. Amen. When you pray, there is no mountain you can't overcome. When you pray, there is no valley you can't cross. When you pray, there is no situation you can't defeat. When you pray, when you pray, you may be going about life. Hmm. Sandra, so lovely to have you here today. This is our mother way friend. What can I do? Ah, how is your husband, sis? Hmm. We can see you really enjoy your marriage, right? Yeah. Anyways, ladies, so I'm really still in awe of what God did. Really? Like, you won't believe that last week I got a proposal. Oh my God. <laughs> really? I'm telling you the wow. truth. I'm so happy for you. Uh, Congratulations! Oh, you know what I did, right? Yeah, the medical yeah. doctor. <laughs> wow! I'm so happy. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. Just a few months ago, I was crying like the whole world. Pizza really broke my heart. No. I'm glad. I'm glad you're happy. Yeah. That's what you want for you. Yeah. I pray, Dave. It will work out. <laughs> My God's grace. Yeah. My God's grace. Amen. Amen. I'm really, really wow. so happy That's about it. So As if yeah. that was not enough, God decided to just add more blessings. Do you know that the job that I applied for the growing company as a customer support specialist? Bam! I got a call yesterday. No way. Yes. What I said to the 
What? Like the way ass work. I know. Pray ass work. Imagine, oh, remember you told us how we just finished praying and the professor, bam, he was transferred. Yeah. Go ahead. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. He did? He has been transferred. Yes. <laughs> and and yes, so my defense date has been fixed. What? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm going to finally leave this school. Oh my god. Wow, I am so happy. Yeah. Yeah. Your God is I was so, so happy. Good. I mean, when I saw it, I was so happy. I screamed like. I was so happy. Hmm. Oh my god, I couldn't even control my joy. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's something to scream about. Uh, you know, we pray that God knows His word. Yeah. Answer that prayers. Oh my god, I'm so happy. <laughs> Congrats, oh, girl. Wow. <laughs> That's so <laughs> very good news. That's so yeah. good yeah. news. Yeah. Wow. God works in mysterious ways. I'm happy for you guys. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. Guess what, guys? You too. Guess what? <laughs> <laughs> I won the proposal for the same Boeing company. What? <laughs> what? Yes, you I got the contract. Yes. Oh my God. 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 Oh my
It's good great. to see you all. I'm so happy. How is your sister? Oh, she's doing well. Mm. She's, she's back in school. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. That's so sweet. You know that like, girl? I love her so much. Like, she can oh, party wow. and she can study. Like, she knows the limit. <laughs> that girl, she does she's that too much. much. She's just too much. Wow. wow. Yeah. That's great. That's great. I'm happy for, you, for her. I'm happy for you too. Thank you. And I know that your husband's issue, your family, your married, marital issue, and everything. What are you going to say to me? Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 Thank you so much, my dear sister. I would love to stay, but I cannot stay because if I do it, <laughs> yeah, yeah, my husband comes back. 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 <laughs> they will punch me. I beg. No, that was such a wonderful Honestly, moment. Honestly, yeah. it was a good time. Yeah. Yeah. It was a good time. I think we should have more of them. Yeah. yeah. And your strength is almost gone. You have been battling all these years, thinking you can make it on your own. When you pray, there is no mountain you can overcome. When you pray, there is no valley you can cross. I know you're up there. I've been battling on my own, but I feel like I've not been going anywhere. Dear God, Father, I know I am a sinner. Lord, I know. I have been away from you for far too long. Lord, I come to you today, O oh God, with a heavy heart. Lord, if you could do it for Hannah and Rebecca and Sarah, Lord, you can do it for me. Father, intervene to my own situation. Lord, fight for me. Help me, O oh God. I commit Henry into your hands, O oh God. I pray, O oh Father, that you will come in and make a way where there seems to be no way. For you are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the yes and the no. Take all the glory, take all the honor, the call the adoration. In Jesus' name I pray. When you pray, there is no mountain you can overcome. When you pray, there is no valley you can cross. When you pray, there is no situation you can't defeat. When you pray, when you pray You may be going about life With so much to think and take care of You may be trying to figure it all out But there is only one way to conquer all When you pray There is no mountain you can't overcome there is no valley you can't cross When you pray There is no situation you can't defeat When you pray When you pray When you pray There is no mountain you can't overcome When you pray There is no valley you can't cross
have been fighting all alone And your strength is almost gone You have been battling all these years Thinking you can make it on your own When you pray, there is no mountain you can't overcome When you pray, there is no valley you can't cross When you pray, there is no situation you can't defeat When you pray Go like that, you're going out of this frame. Good. One, one. What guy did you say? What was that? Just pick up from any word. I'll edit. One, two, one, two. And you cook and you clean and you do the same thing over and over. Yes, yes. Harry, you have to stop treating me as a kid and it's a one, two, three, action. I'm not a child for you to be doing the same thing over and over. You do basic needs and then you think that you all of a sudden deserve a reward. Like hanging out with people that never do anything for you, huh? When has your friend called me and said hi? Where do you be going anyway? How am I even supposed to trust you? All of a sudden you have Do you no realize I'm trying here? You do nothing in this house. I do all of the stuff. You were supposed to slap me in yes. Oh my god! Yeah! They're yeah. 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 shouting at you! You're like, like how dare you? Turn back. Say, like, how dare you? And then they. Just no, that no. All you, you have to do is just. Just. He cannot do for you. We walk by faith and not by sight. When we pray, to Him we shall prevail. 